Hello everybody, Elias5891 had to go, he mumbled something about a baby panda or something. So filling in, it's Timwee with another Katane module tutorial. Today we're going to look at the Jewel Vault. So let's start and let's take a look at uh, how the module looks on the bomb first. You can already see it in the dark because it has this glow effect. And then once the lights come on, you will notice the following things. Firstly, in the top left we have a compass rose. This may or may not be rotated. Some of them, like this one, have it right way up. But here it is sideways. Then we have these Greek letters around the edge of the module. The Greek letters, you can describe them to your expert if you don't know what they're called. But for this module, it is worth learning them. Uh, the names are listed here in the manual. So over time, you can get used to these names and learn them. Then we have these four wheels, which you can see are clickable. Each wheel has four beads. They are gemstones of different um, variety. Green, for example, is emerald. Uh, blue is sapphire, etc. And then here at the bottom we have a reset button and a submit button. Um, in order to solve this module, let's write down all of the information that we need. First thing, let's write down the last digit of the serial number because we are, we are going to need that. It's a three. Okay. So the last digit is a 3. The Greek letters are Iota, Phi, Epsilon, Tau, uh, Nu, Mu, uh, Delta, and another Nu. Sometimes letters are duplicated. Let's also, for each of the wheels, I'm going to number them from the outside. So the, the outer one is wheel 1, and then 2, 3, 4, going inwards. I'm going to write down what the uh, beads are, um, but I'm going to write down the names of the gemstones rather than the colors. They are listed here in the manual. Again, it might be worth learning them, because the rest of the manual, especially this list here, refers to them by the name of the jewel rather than the color. So, here we have emerald. Emerald. Uh, then we have glass, onyx, and sapphire. So this is going clockwise from the top. On the second wheel, wheel two, we have emerald, onyx, amethyst, and ruby. Uh, on the third wheel, wheel three, we have... Um, I called this emerald, but that's a sapphire. Uh, sapphire, glass, and... Now, the pink one has a weird name. It's called Pudratite. A lot of people don't know Pudratite. Also, Scapolite is another one that most people might not have heard of. Um, and then Wheel 4 has another emerald, uh, Pudratite, Scapolite. And the fourth one is Ruby. Finally, I'm going to click these wheels and note that Wheel 1 when you click it, it rotates only itself. The second one rotates itself and the fourth one. The third one rotates itself and wheel number two. And this one rotates number one. This is all of the information that the expert needs. You will notice that the rotations form somewhat of a sequence. There's always one of them that only rotates itself and then one that rotates that one, and then another one that rotates this one, and then another one that rotates the last one. So if you started with three, uh, then you wouldn't need to care about wheel two for that moment because you can fix it here, and then here you don't care about four because you can fix it here, and then here you don't care about one because you can fix that. This. Wheel A turns itself clockwise, so this one is called A, and then the one that rotates itself and A is called B. The one that rotates itself and B, uh, that would be this one, that would be C, and then this one is D. So the way that you can rotate all of them into any orientation is start with D, right? So you always do D first, and then C, and then B, and then A. But we'll get to that later. We first need to find out which direction we need to rotate it in. Well. Um, the eight 
um, types of gemstones here are amethyst, of which we have one on the entire module, emerald, of which we have three, glass, of which we have two, onyx, of which we have two, um, pudritite, of which we have two, quite a lot of pairs here, ruby has two, sapphire has three, and scapolite has one. So sapphire and emerald are the most. So um, let's take a look at this part of the manual here. There is a target orientation. So each of these jewel types, sapphire and emerald, map to an orientation. So sapphire would mean south and emerald would mean east. But which one of the two is it? Well, for that, we're going to use the priority list. The last digit of the serial number, this is where that comes in, is a three. Which of the two, emerald and sapphire, is listed first in that priority list? It's the sapphire. So the sapphire is the one that counts. So we want to orient things south. On this module, south is on the right. So we want our gemstones to be on the right. But which gemstones, you ask? Well, um, this is where the Greek letters come in. Let's take a look at the part of the manual that has the Greek letters. And let's mark all of the Greek letters that we found on the module. We have an iota, we have a phi, we have an eta, then we have a tau, which is here. Then we have two of the nus. I'm going to use this one to mark the second one. We have a mu, which is here, a delta, and finally the other nu. So there are always eight symbols. And you will always have two of them for wheel one, two of them for wheel two, two of them for wheel three, and two of them for wheel four. So let's move this one over here so that we have a row and a column. And it doesn't actually matter which one you make the row and the column, uh, because if you look here, if, if this one were epsilon and this one were de delta, you get the same answer. Right, this is always um, reflection symmetric about the diagonal. Um, only new, new, obviously you can't orient another way. But anyway, here is a 12, here is a 4, here is a 2, here is a 1. These numbers refer to priority lists here. So for each wheel, we want to find the highest priority according to its priority list. So let's write down what the priority lists are. For wheel 1, it's a 4. Then we have a 2, then we have a 12 and a 1. So in list number 4, which one of these gems is first? It's the emerald, because it's right at the start. Okay, in list number 2, um, we have amethyst first, and that is in fact on our wheel, so that's the one we want. In list number 12, sapphire comes first, and that's also on the wheel. And in list number one, Pudritite is first, which is also on the wheel. It's a coincidence that the first one in each of these lists was on the wheel for all of the wheels. Um, it's always possible that, for example, for wheel number one, you might get list number one, and then Pudritite is not on the wheel, so you keep looking. Ruby is also not on the wheel. Sapphire. In that case, it would be Sapphire, because that one's here. But wheel one had list four, so the correct answer for wheel one is Emerald. So, these are the, um, the gemstones that we want to orient south. And this is the order in which we need to rotate the wheels. So, to the diffuser we would now say, rotate wheel 3 and make sapphire go south. <laughs> go south. So wheel number 3, sapphire is the blue one, and we want that on the far right. So we have to press this three times. So now wheel number three is in the correct orientation and none of the others rotates three, so that's good. Now let's move on to wheel C, which is wheel two. We want amethyst on the right. Wheel two has amethyst here on the left, so we need to click this two times. Uh, the next wheel is wheel number four, which is the innermost. We want the pudritite, which is the pink. We want that on the right, so we click that two times. And finally, wheel number one, 
which is wheel A, wants the emerald, which is currently on the bottom, on the right. Now, I'm going to press this three times, but something is going to happen. What is that? It didn't let me move it all the way. Well, what this is, is um, I, will, I will point out where this is in the manual. It says that uh, turning the wheels a total of 13 times without resetting will shuffle the wheels and change the orientation. That is what happened. So, in order to avoid this, you should press reset after you've determined which of the wheels rotates which other wheel. So once you know which one is A, B, C, D, you should press reset to reset that counter so that you can then have all your free rotations. Fortunately, the gemstones don't change, the Greek letters don't change, they might rotate around, but they, they're still the same letters. So the answer is still going to be the same, except that south now points down. So now we need to go through these rotations again and move them south. So wheel three, we'll start with wheel three, which wants the sapphire uh, on the south. Now wheel three is this one here, sapphire is the blue one. So we need to press that three times to move that to the south. One, two, three. The next wheel we take care of is wheel C, which is wheel two. Wheel two, this one, wants the amethyst, which is currently here on the bottom. So let's click it once. And then wheel B is this one. We want the pudritite. Uh, on the bottom, well it's already on the bottom, so we don't need to press that at all. And finally, uh, the outer wheel wants the emerald, which is the green one on the bottom. So we mo move that three times. And then finally, once you've got all of your uh, gems in the right place, you press the submit button. Now, if the answer is wrong, you will immediately get a strike. So, given that I didn't get a strike, I know that the answer is correct. But it will still turn around for several seconds before it will mark itself as solved. And there we go, now it's solved. It opens up and there is a glove in there. Okay, so that was Jewel Vault. Let's take a look at another example. Let's take one where north, south, west, east are orientated a bit weirdly. So on this one, let's erase all of our notes. The last digit obviously is still the same. Uh, the Greek letters are uh, iota, phi, alpha, omega, um, oh, uh, pi, kappa, zeta, um, psi, and that's it. Okay, the uh, wheels have the following properties. Wheel 1 has uh, amethyst, pudritite, ruby, and glass. Wheel 2 has glass, uh, pudritite, ruby, and onyx. Wheel 3 has yellow. Yellow is scapolite, one of the unusual ones. Scapolite, onyx, glass, and ruby. And on wheel 4 we have glass, uh, pudritite, amethyst, and ruby. As for the rotation, the outer wheel rotates 1 and 2. The second wheel rotates 2 and 3. The third wheel rotates only itself, so this one will be 4 plus 1. So we can check that. Yep, that is correct. And now to make sure that we don't get this reset, this automatic reset that we saw earlier, we're just going to press reset here. And while this is rotating, we can count the uh, uh, gemstones. So amethyst, there are two. Pudritite, there are three. Rubies, there are four. Now. The fact that we have a 4 means that we only need to look for any others that have 4. And looking at the module, it's easy to see that there aren't any. 
So actually, the diffuser can just tell the expert, we have Ruby for the most, and then you don't even need to look at the, um, uh, the, the pri priority list for the last digit, because obviously there is only one, which is Ruby, that, that matters, so it's going to be Ruby. So, um, Ruby translates to West, so we want the uh, important uh, gemstones oriented to the West. Now, which ones are they? We need to look for the Greek letters. Let's reset this. We have Iota and Phi, then we have Alpha and Omega. Omega, that gives us a 3 for this one. Um, then we have Pi and Kappa. Here's a kappa and here is a pi, which means that wheel 2 is a 6. And finally we have zeta and psi. Zeta means wheel 1 is a 7 and psi, which is this one, means 5. So on priority list 7, we have sapphire, which is not on the wheel, glass. So glass is the one that we want. Wheel 2 needs list 6. Do we have scapolite? Nope. Emerald? Nope. Glass. Yes. Glass. Um, then priority list number five. So do we have ruby? Yes, we do have ruby. And finally in list number three, do we have onyx on this wheel? No. Sapphire? No. Ruby? Yes, we do have a ruby. So what we want is glass, glass, ruby, ruby. So the order in which we want to rotate the wheels, well, this one is going to be wheel A. So that one's B, that one's C, that one's D. So we start with wheel four, which is wheel D, which is the innermost one. We want the ruby in the west position, which is pointing down. So we need to press this three times. Okay, then uh, wheel uh, one is next, which is the outermost. We want the glass on the bottom, so we need to press it two times. This is the glass bead. Okay, then we use wheel two to move its glass to the bottom. Well, its glass is already on the bottom, so we don't care. And wheel three, we need the ruby on the bottom. So that's this one. So we need to press that three times. And then hopefully we have this answer, glass, glass, ruby, ruby, going from outside to inside. So it's glass, glass, ruby, ruby. So this should be the right answer. And it is. And we have a glove. It's always the same glove. Um, now let me quickly show you what happens if, if I get it wrong. So if I just submit a wrong answer, what will happen is that you will instantly get a strike, it will go red and it will spin things around. Right, it will change the orientation of the compass rows, it will change the orientation of the wheels, but none of the um, gemstones change, none of the Greek letters change. So the answer is still the same. If you figured out the answer and you just entered it wrong, then you can just do the same thing again. Even which wheel is A, B, C, and D also stays the same. Okay, that's it for Jewel Vault. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, or suggestions, please leave them down below in the comments or contact me on Discord, whichever you prefer. In the meantime, um, happy uh, jewel vaulting and don't explode. Goodbye.